is going on fellas and welcome back to the non-league to legend save um it's been an interesting summer slash winter it's been an interesting end of season transfer window um i just said i'd bring up the club vision so you could have a look to see what is expected of us this year they want us to continue working within the wage budget which we are and they want us to be competitive in the first division. We were competitive last year. Why can't we be competitive this year? They want us to be competitive in the Senior Challenge Cup. And they do not care whatsoever with the League Cup or the Monster Senior Cup. Um, I think we drew UCC. In that. I'll have to check again, actually. I don't remember. At the end of the season, my contract does expire. I'm kind of hoping this time we do leave. Um, it's been, it's been a little, you know, I've been here too long, in my opinion. But we've got a coaching badge out of it so far. <laughs> Haven't gotten the second one, so that's frustrating. Um, what was the next thing I was going to show? Transfers. No, we'll have a look at the schedule. We drew Cove Wanderers. That's who it was. It's a Cove Derby in the Munster Senior Cup quarterfinal. So that'll be interesting. Uh, Rockman play Limerick, um, Attorney play UCC, and Leeds play Cork City. So you could say that it's going to be Cove Ramblers, hopefully, Limerick, UCC, and Cork City in the next round. Wouldn't surprise me, but then again, we could also fall to pieces. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna play Galway. Uh, it's just going to be go away because we've a couple of transfers to go through as well um, unless it's super short then we'll play the Cove Wanderers game as well um, the league is pretty much the same as it was last year um, schedule wise there's no major changes but Longford pop in in the middle where um, UCD used to be because they're the ones that got promoted. But <clears throat> this year we're expected to finish ninth again. Um, as seems to be standard now. Our odds have dropped significantly. They were 95 to 1. Now down to 40 to 1. It's interesting. Um, are you still playing for... No, you're playing for Longford now. You weren't you playing for Waterford last year. Yeah. He scored most of his goals against us. <laughs> That's that's depressing. Uh, Longford favourites cup, obviously, just relegated. So, transfer wise, Stephen O'Connor rejected um a move to UCD. Eh. I felt like we signed more players. Okay. Uh we brought in Kieran Dunn from Sunderland on a free, but he was released when I signed him, but Played last season for Alfredon, 17 games and 2 goals. He's going to be our starting left midfielder. Evan Farrell came in, um, ex-UCD player. Looks a good prospect. He's 21, so will he ever reach his potential? I Maybe not, but he's up there with some of our best centre-backs. And we brought Rory Purcell in on loan, because for the last two seasons... My scouts have been pushing him down my throat, my throat, and I've just decided we'll give him a go, see if he's any good. Um, he's never actually played for Cork, but he's going to be probably our starting striker for the majority of the season. Um, hopefully, anyway. Notable players leaving. Um, Charlie Keller has gone on loan to Kerry, whatever, Graham Hamilton, central midfielder. The guy who never really got a chance, he's gone. Adam Collins has gone to UCC. Just he was in the youth intake, signed a non-contract, and then moved straight to UCC, like pretty much the next day. Uh, my lad went to Athlone, um, as Gary, who played a couple of games to be fair for us. He was the one we started playing in ball winning midfielder as we started playing Pulis ball. He got a couple of games and he's gone to UCD. Uh, Gary O'Connor has gone on loan to North End United in Wexford. It is, yep. North End United. 
going to get a bit of game time for him, hopefully. And Aaron McCarthy. We sold him for real life money. Human money. He's gone to Shelburne. Played four games for us total. Never really saw a place for him in the team. He's gone. We've made some money off him. And Timmy O'Shea. I forgot he was still playing for us. He went to Galway. He threw a hissy fit during this season. I was going to make. He was going to be one of our main centre backs. Threw a hissy fit. Said he wanted to leave. Put him in the under 19s. Completely forgot he was there. So, oh, I'm going to go to match preview first. And give away the team. God damn it. So, we played Galway again. Beat them last season on the first game last season but this is how we're going to start the game we have Tom Holland in goal Fleming and Taylor are wing backs uh, Max Sweeney and new boy Farrell in centre back Martinez is our 17 16 year old Spanish youth intake it's going to start today and we have Kieran Dunn playing on the left Hurley and Kelly who is also one of our youth intakes he looks he looks good so I'm going to give him an opportunity playing as the box box midfielder today Purcell starts up front with Mwanga um, Eric Kiley is third favourite to win the golden boot for the first division starts on the bench today I'm not so sure um, I've brought some of the younger players up from the under 19 so Jack Burns come up as well and um, where else who else was it oh Butkus and Ryan Burke. Ryan Burke is going to rock number six this year because he's he is progressing. He is his numbers are going up except for Flair. Flair's going down. Don't really care about that. That's fine. But this is how we start our season against Galway. Uh, Morehouse is favourite to win Golden Boot altogether. So we have. Four de five debutants in the team today. Ooh, key. Um, yeah, go out and make up for what happened last time we played Galway. I've considered changing the. Um, oh no, I didn't realize Martinez and Kelly and Purcell weren't at perfect condition. Um, I have toyed with the idea of moving to one striker and having a, an attacking midfielder behind them. But as it is right now, I think the two up top is working better. But then again, we have a couple of... God damn it. Greg Morehouse scores his first goal of the season. All thanks to ex-Cove player Stephen Christopher. I don't want to watch it again. That was terrible defending. Come on, I show a bit of passion. Charlie Fleming. Mm, not the season to have a bad start. Because McAlevey, sitting on the bench, is up there with our best youth, our best uh, candidates for getting into the first team. And it's only because Charlie Fleming is that bit better that he's continuing to play. But I have no problem in dumping him. <laughs> Fleming, big ball forward, can't get to Mwanga. We will make one tiny change. Going to put Purcell on support. This is the first highlight we've seen in the entire game, apart from the goal. We're 47 minutes in. McSweeney, heads clear. Morehouse heads it down, and oh! One of the Galway pairs absolutely smashes that. Off the crossbar. Galway keeps the ball in. And Farrell just punts it clear. As hard as he can. I should have showed you the, the released list of players. Of actually, that we have actually. A couple of players. I think it was like six players got released. Tom Holland managed to push that one over the crossbar. Right. Fleming you're coming off. McAlevey. Straight on. Parcel's not having a great game, but we have O'Brien Whitmarsh on the bench. And we have Eric Kiley. So maybe we do this. And we leave you on support. Just pop you to be a poacher. We'll do one of those little and large kind of things. Hopefully it works. 
All right, lads, come on, show a bit of passion. We're only one down. Um, is there anyone who can come on and make a difference? Matthew Lamb for Hurley. But we're gonna go mental. We're gonna go fucking crazy. Very attacking. Oh, Morehouse just put the wide. We are. Lucky boys. Come on, let's push forward. Eh. We've made a couple of changes to the um the tactic as well. So we're pushing just a little bit higher, and I'm gonna push it even a little higher again for the end of this game. And nothing's gonna happen. That's a depressing way to start the season. Yep, not happy. That was ass cheese. Okay, well, that was a less than ideal start to the season. It was only 1 0. Um, transfer wise, I, like I said, forgot to show you the oh, players. Yeah, yeah. The players be released. Ian Turner is gone. Nobody wants him. Not surprising. Uh, James O'Driscoll finally left. Uh, Cameron Harrelson has gone to Cherry Orchard. Never really got an opportunity under me. Uh, Jordan Carroll brought him in. I think he spent the entire time in the under 19s. Never actually got a chance, and he's gone. And ex Sunderland player Robbie Dunn left as well. Uh, Kieran Dunn, Evan Farrell all made their debuts. So did Purcell. Um, has, I know we can do a, a coaching course, but I don't really want to apply for a coaching course just yet because they keep rejecting it. Now, uh, finance wise, we're 60k in debt, so that's you know not ideal. So I think we will do the got the Cove Ramblers game because it's otherwise this is going to be a very very short video. So we will be back in but a moment for that. Alright fellas, we're back now for the game against Cove Wanderers. Hopefully we can win this one. Um if we don't, I'll be very disappointed. It's Cove Wanderers. We've made a couple of changes for this game. Jack Byrne. It is Jack. Yeah, Jack Byrne comes in for this game. McAlevey comes in to play at right back with Taylor continuing as the left back. Uh, Farrell and Lyons are gonna play as our centre backs with Jack Kelly coming in on the right. Uh, Kieran Dunn is going to keep his position on the left. Abbott comes in to play alongside Graham Kelly. Mawanga moves to the target man. We're going to play Kylie. Uh, Purcell drops the bench because he just he wasn't great in the last game. Um, so he's not going to start. I'm going to maybe bring him on as like an impact sub, maybe. But do I start him instead of Mawanga? No, we start him instead of Mawanga. We're going for Purcell. And Kylie. Kylie's not the shortest, so I can't really say little and large. But this is the team that we're going to start with. Um, Abbott playing against his old club. Hopefully he can do a bit of a bit of work, get a bit of you know football in, score them score them goals. Yeah, I'm gonna be angry. We should win this. No problem. Nobody cares. But I'm gonna try and get a bit of. Motivation and happiness and confidence. Eric Kylie's confident, happy, motivated. I don't know which one of them. Um, I do think Jack Byrne could be the keeper of the future for uh, Cove. Uh, look at him there, just grabbing the ball, plucking it out of the air, running around his box a little bit, you know. Punts it forward, Kylie's onto it. Oh, Cove Wanderers keeper just pushes it wide. Kieran Dunn puts it in, gets cleared, but he picks it back up, whips it back across, and it misses everybody. Eric Kiley made a run onto it, but couldn't quite get there. I think for this one, it's going to go attacking because we should win this game. 
they really want us to play short passing. I kind of I want to see will Tony Pulis ball work. Regardless, Taylor big big ball forward gets cleared and Cove Wanderers managed to keep a hold of the ball. Kieran Dunn stands there looking at it at O'Neill. Taylor heads it away. Dunn picks it back up. Across to Farrell. That was I don't I don't understand what happened there, but alright, McAlevey. Farrell. Back to Jack Byrne. Big ball forward. Oh almost Kylie almost got into it. O'Flynn. Abbott takes him down but wins the ball and <clears throat> this is why he didn't want to play lines because he makes so many mistakes Mead to Waters and Jack Byrne just could not keep a hold of it ay 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 I'm going to demand more we should be winning this game Charlie Lyons is having such a poor game again. If we get knocked out by Cove Wanderers. Oh, Jesus, lads, come on. How many people actually showed up to this game? Alright, we're going to make a change. Do we want to do that? I think this is probably our best option. Move Taylor back over there. McAlevey into right back. Kylie up front. We'll go 4-2-4. Four, four two, four, yeah, four, two, four. Make Purcell a poacher. Done. A winger on attack. Jack Kiley, a winger. No, Jack Kelly. Winger on attack. Um, yeah, we just keep that. Um, we're going to bring on McSweeney for Lions because he's just been trash McAlevey's been even worse but we don't have a right back on the bench because I put Fleming I took Fleming out of it we're gonna lose this game oh thankfully they put that over right, come on lads McAlevey's been sent off. Alright, well, I was going to take McAlevey off anyway, because he's been quite poor in this game, but we're going to go three at the back. And bring Mwanga on for Kelly. And we've got three up top. I have a ball winning midfielder in midfield by himself. No wing backs. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, this is just. Oh, God, lads, come on. 459 people showed up to a game to watch us lose. Two Cove Wanderers. Their keeper is playing a 7.4. We get beaten by Cove Wanderers. Oh my god. Oh, I thought the transfers I made were good. They were not. They were terrible. Okay, well.
goalless Kylie has now gone 10 matches without scoring. Interesting. Interesting. Right. When are we going to be back? We will come back for... I think we skipped the month of March. We'll just come back for Longford Finn Harps. Because that's Galway's the first game. Yeah, Longford Finn Harps. That's when we're going to come back. Uh, hopefully, we'll have gotten rid of this. It, this is like anti last season. Last season, we started really well. This season, starting horrendously badly. If, for some reason, you have enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, share with your friends. Pray for me, is basically what we need. Like, we, I know they're two shit teams, but like, look what we did to St. Michael's and College Corinthians, and then Mayfield United. We smashed them. Playing Pulis Ball. And then we go and play Galway and Cove Wanderers, and we get beaten. <sighs> but like I said, thank you for very <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, fellas. Um, I'll see you in the next one.